Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Monday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord. Everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised he says, Lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome this morning? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come out of the dwelling. Welcome this morning. Let's give a big hand. God bless you richly, sincerely from my heart. This day I release a very special blessing upon your life, and I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, and materially, financially, educationally, every area of your life, and whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper. Let me break it down as always. I pray that God will bless your homes today. I pray that God will bless your marriage. I pray that God will bless your children. He will bless your business. Yes, bless you on the job. Give you favor and promotion on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper because he is a loving, mighty, great God today. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. This morning, I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus and I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. This morning, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, whether first, second, third, or fourth generational curse, I break this morning. I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus. I know many of you, your parents, of course you many people of courses have been pronounced upon their life yes I break those courses today I reverse those courses I destroy those courses under the blood and in the mighty name of Jesus you are free from those courses in the mighty name of Jesus amen let's give a lot of big hand in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name praise God Jesus said also in his words healing is the children bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded yes my friends for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes i am healed you are healed we are healed in jesus name let's give my big hand to him hallelujah praise god father god i pray this morning that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the holy spirit born out every sickness Born out every pain, born out every disease, born out every infirmities and every evil and every works of darkness from this mortal man of clay. Touch my lips and cleanse my heart. Purify my body, my soul and spirit as I minister your words. Your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen let's give him a big hand today praise God this morning I will continue with poetry of breaking generational curses in your family yes my friends which is very important everything is about to change this morning in your life yes everything is about to change it's a matter of a day yes the root is is dead. I say the root is dead. The root is dead. The leaves will dry up. That curse has to go in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. Yes, beloved and friends, it is dried up in Jesus' precious and gracious name. Yes, because I dealt with this problem. Yes, my friends, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. The realm of the spirit, somebody shout amen. Let's give the Lord a big hand for the hallelujah. It 
is dead. What does this mean? This means that when we win the battle in the spirit, yes, beloved, when we when you renounce the curse, when you break the curse, the generational demon is cast out. Yes, beloved and friends. <laughs> out you don't wait for your life to improve until you improve your thinking yes beloved and friends hallelujah praise god thank you jesus yes hallelujah praise god we need to understand these things today the bible says to put on the arm of god not uh, not when you got the victory but when the hell is yes my friends yes breaking loose yes when what royal garments are for esther the spiritual warfare god is for you today in Jesus name beloved and friends hallelujah for Esther 5 or for Esther Ephesians 6 is for you that means when I got to deliver when I got deliver praise the Lord that means when I broke the curse I have to ment mentally switch switch my address code hallelujah praise the Lord I don't talk like a victim it's more like a conqueror I don't talk and walk and think yes my friends and beloved yes hallelujah i have an attitude of a, a coarse person i walk like a blessed person yes i know the signs are not today praise god there are some yes praise god thank you jesus oh blessed be the name i it will manifest in the natural i have to dress up for victory so many people today yes you have to dress up for victory dress up for victory they do after deliverance is this uh, is they keep uh, dragging their tragedy rags and raggedy rags and they're saying until I see it then I believe but my friends you saw it in the spirit realm you saw it in the spirit realm already yes therefore my friends hallelujah open your eyes and see something shifting in the spirit realm and I believe something is going to happen in this room today those of you that come with generational demons those of you that came this morning with uh, with generational curses today when you're going to do a mass deliverance something will shift it will shift but I have to warn you and encourage you make sure you change your address code hallelujah praise God let's give him a big hand today hallelujah thank you Jesus because those very demons will show up tomorrow knocking on the door on the outside yes beloved and friends and make sure that person that answered is in the different is a different person than the one who had had made him inside yes my friends hallelujah are you getting me this morning <coughs> praise God thank you Jesus don't let him address you up don't come in naked fill your mind with the truth Fill your mind with the truth because you fill your mind with becomes your mindset resists the thoughts of fear and resists resists the thoughts. Yes, my friends of faith, faith to thoughts are going to say, yes, they, they're going to stay, they need to be assisted to leave, they need to be resisted, align your inner talk. And in our talk with the word today, with the word believers and friends of God, because your life will move in a direction of your self-talk. And when you sense the victory, when you sense the victory in your spirit that everything changes, you align your attitude and you align yourself. Talk, self-talk, you align, beloved and friends. You confess. This is not about confess. It possess it. It name it, claim it. Yes, my friend, Grab it, grab it this morning. This is about dressing like a queen when you got time to face the king. This is this morning that your time to realize that when you got delivered, you have to put on the armor of a soldier. Yes, my friends, hallelujah. You will not a, a blind party must anymore. Your life will not change yet. But it's everything change in the realm of the spirit. Yes, the realm of the spirit is a matter of time. Everything will change in the physical realm. But uh, your, my friends, uh, your mental state has to change. The way you talk has to change. The way you dress up has to change. Hallelujah, praise God. The way you see yourself has to change. Otherwise, you will hinder the transformation in your life. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give 
must be kind. You need to change number four this morning. Number four this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible says she comes to the king and she doesn't panic in front of the king in deep desperation. No, my friends. Hallelujah. Praise God. No. No, she did not panic in desperation because something has shifted in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. And the king says, Esther, what do you want? This would be a good moment to create a panic. Yes, my friends, hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus, and cry out loud and say, I am about to die. My people are about to be wiped out. No, my friends, hallelujah. And Esther has this gentle request. She says, I want to ask you for a dinner. She says, I want to ask you for a dinner, O king. Yes, praise the Lord, hallelujah. How can you be asking a king on a date when you should be expressing depression? That's wisdom, yes, desperation my friends no she used wisdom the king comes on a dinner with him and she invited him and yes praise the lord she invited her enemy yes to that feast hallelujah praise god why you have been to, you have to learn to eat in the presence of your enemies yes beloved and friends you have to learn to eat in the presence of your enemies hallelujah praise god thank you jesus oh bless Blessed be the name and many of us, we don't see deliverance in completion today. Why we don't see deliverance in completion? Because we say, I will eat until God kills the enemy. Listen to me today. Beloved and friends, I'll starve to death. But the Bible says he anoints my head with oil and he prepares a table. He prepares a table before me. He prepares a table in the presence, in the presence of Haman. That means sometimes I can feel the enemy still saying, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise God. The enemy still saying, Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So blessed be the name of Jesus. Yes, my friend. Friends, you, I got you and you owe oh, you want to. Yes, you keep on eating and you drive the devil crazy because if you learn to worship, worship my friends, if you learn to worship in the presence of your enemy, if you learn to worship in the presence of your enemy today, if you learn to read the Bible in the presence of your enemy, you will, your deliveries will come. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Your deliveries will come. You will get delivered, my friends. Are you hearing the man of Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved and friends, I hear people say, I can't come to church. Demons are tormenting me. Have you ever heard that before? Yes, my friends, this is demons are tormenting them and they can't come to church. Yes, but what about bringing them to church? Yes, for them to be tormented. Bring the demons to church and let them get tormented in the presence of God. I can't read the Bible. The devil is messing with my life you might say pastor what about opening the bible and making him be, be tormented in his mind do that my friends hallelujah torment the devil i can't worship what about worshiping in the presence of your enemies today God wants you to worship in the presence of your enemies. Esther did not get rid of him until she tortured him. I say she tortured him. She tortured him and he did not know he was being thrown in the oven for a cook. He was being a cook. Hallelujah. And doesn't even know. Hallelujah. And right there and then the king says, Esther, what will you want? And this is, will be a good moment. This would be a good moment. He already eaten. He drank the why this would be a moment good moment to say great king please save me esther doesn't do that she says can you come again tomorrow i love that she says can you come again because of her i listened to this very carefully the king was not at the means of her deliverance yes beloved and friends the king was not the means of her deliverance hallelujah what the king said he he was her husband many people and for those of you this is not a rebuke today it is not a rebuke 
rebuke she was her husband yes God is not a means for or to your freedom God is a good and deliverance it means you to get more of God hallelujah to get more of God deliverance we don't seek a deliverance and use God as a means for it is that Israel did they use God to get out yes they get out they use God to get out my friends of Egypt and when God get them out, they forsake him and start to worshiping a cow. They worship a cow. They start to worship a calf. They start to worship other beings. Because sometimes when you are in the place of torment, you get so desperate that that, that, that you think about is just indeed to be free. I just need to be free. And while that is admirable, that is good. But God does not want to be used. Yes, my friends, God. God is worthy to be worshipped and therefore you got to make the decision today hallelujah praise God like those who do, do demons possess guys when I'm in struggles even in chains I'm going to run I'm going to run to Jesus and I'm going to worship I'm going to run to church I'm going to pray I'm going to run hallelujah to the Bible I'm going to read the Bible why because God is not a means to a goal hallelujah praise God God is my goal the reason I want to be delivered so I can serve him more hallelujah reason I want to deliver is so I can love him more the reason I want yes I want to be delivered is so I can pray more the reason I want to deliver so I can go to church more the hallelujah praise God thank you let's give my big hand to you and I think a lot of times God needs to see not only our desperation, but to see our devotion. Yes, my friends, he wants to see your devotion to him today. And as you feel the, feed the king, there is a shift in the spiritual realm. Yes, my friends, a shift in the spiritual realm. Star and daughter, star, I love this because she's eating. She's eating. Yes, she's eating. Hallelujah. Haman is eating right in her presence. What is feeling you you sick to your stomach? Yes, but uh, but hallelujah, praise God. I think Esther is looking at him, and I think she's looking at her, her clock. This boy just has hours left. How hours left for his destruction? And there came a right time, and she removed the mass because that was what got to do in yes, in the presence of God. And she tells the king that not only she is Esther, but she she also is Hadassah. Yes, my friends, here's something about her. The king has not heard from her lips yet. And something, something happens when you come to the altar today. It's going to have to be brutally honest. You have to be brutally honest because confession begins to open the door for deliverance. And as she confesses, she doesn't remove her crown. Then she removes her mass. She's still a queen, but she reveals, hallelujah, the part of her life nobody knows and that opened doors to the king walking getting up in rage yes my friends he got up in rage yes not against Esther but against the very thing that is tormenting Esther and the Bible says the Bible says Haman gets on his knees begging for his life see this when you know you got it right when 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 now the demons are screaming and yelling don't hurt me anymore don't torment me anymore why why I can't stand the church anymore. I can't stand your reading the Bible anymore. I can cannot tell you how many demons I've cast into out of the demons are complaining. Yes, I'm gonna go. I'm sick and tired of our fasting. I'm sick and tired of our quoting the Bible every day. We can't take this. The demons, yes, they tried anymore. She kept going from one conference to another. She kept watching Isaiah. Yes, yes, beloved, she kept watching this person. We are sick and tired. Yes, we want to go. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on today. Are you hearing me today? Are you hearing what I'm saying? These devils are tormented. Somebody says, come 
come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Uh, yes, somebody say, come out in Jesus' name. Yes, it ends with me. It ends with me. The last thing I'm going to share in the moment uh, this morning, beloved and friends, uh, it ends with me. Hallelujah. Haman gets killed. Haman is done. It's a great celebration. But Esther is not a fool. Hallelujah. She is not a fool. What Esther did, beloved and friends, uh, Hallelujah, she knows it's not enough to defeat him and you got to destroy him and you got to wipe him out. Hallelujah, wipe out the demons. Hallelujah, praise God. And so you have to do it twice because Saul make a mistake. And it's the same, we are not making, we are not making the same mistakes. Yes, beloved and friends, hallelujah. And that mistake again, there will be no more remembrance of the Amalekite. Yes, after my generation, yes, my friend and she asks the king for this in Esther 8 verse 11 it says but by these letters the king permitted hallelujah the king permitted the Jews who were in every city to gather together and to protect their lives watch this this one to destroy hallelujah to destroy beloved and friends to kill the Amalekites to alienate yes what did the devil come to do yes to yes he wants to kill but you need to alienate him this morning alienate him this morning guess what is Esther asking king we got to, to get rid of him but we got to get a lot of minions also a lot of minions uh, can we ask for your permission yes she asks for permission to destroy to kill and to alienate all the forces of any people in the province yes to alienate all the, the, the people in the province yes beloved and friends hallelujah let's give him a big hand to me and that uh, will be the them, both little children and women and the plunder in their possessions Beloved and friends, hallelujah, praise God. This is what I want to end with. Whatever God does not remove, he empowers to resist. Whatever God does not remove, he empowers to resist. Did you get that this morning? Hallelujah, praise God. The king did not remove the plot of Haman. He only removed Haman. Yes, my friends, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> but what about the plot? It could be stopped. The king empowered weak Jewish people who were, yes my friends, hallelujah marked by destruction and he says I'm backing you up you can now reverse the plan reverse the plan, hallelujah instead he says beloved and friends of being stolen, kill and destroy you destroy and you steal and you plunder, that's what the king told them to do, beloved and friends if you give the power over the enemy to trample upon snakes and scorpions and by the grace of God those demonic forces those curses have to go and the gift of righteousness will reign in your life the Bible tells us that we have what we have we have authority God is not going to remove any single demon out of your life he will remove him out yes my friends because you have authority of your soul but he will give you you the power to alienate and to kill and to destroy the works he is going to give you the power to destroy the works of the devil if you've been through deliverance if you've been through confession and you feel something else today is still you feel like attacking your family i will have a word from god for you rise up Esther, rise up Mordecai, you are no longer a weakling, you are empowered by Jesus Christ, hallelujah you are empowered by Jesus Christ and give the devil a fighting, yes, submit to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you, resist we submit to God and resist the devil, you will victory in your house and again the next day and do it again and again and the next day, yes do it again the next day, the devil is called a lion and a lion does not have a greater stamina today yes my friends listen carefully lion get very tired very fast lion gives have small heart and they get tired quickly which means which means if you persist persist he quits if you perceive your persistent he give up if you don't quit he will run yes my friends hallelujah praise god hallelujah let's give a lord a big hand hallelujah 
praise God, God has empowered you to cast out and bring all those generational curses. And right now, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the blood of Jesus Christ, I cover your homes under the blood and I break every generational curses that was sent against you. I break those curses and I destroy them and I send them to the pits of hell this morning in Jesus' name. Every generational curses, every generational demons that are attacking your family, that are attacking your finances, that are attacking your health, that are attacking you in every area of your marriage and every area in your life. I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus for the blood is so efficacious and the blood is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness and through the blood and in the name of Jesus every curse is gone today. Every curse is broken. Every curse is reversed. Every curse is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise God as I sent for the anointing right now this morning be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus when every curse is and every work of darkness wherever you're listening from this morning from the usa the uk canada the caribbean any part of europe or the world today is your day for deliverance from generational curses today is your day for that miracle today is your day for that deliverance god has delivered many from the curses of demons yes my friends if you're sick this morning and you're sick unto death today, my friends, hallelujah. Whatever sickness you have today, if you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, a heart problem, liver problem, blood issue, blood dialysis problem, prostate cancer, today is your day for a miracle. If you're suffering with depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, today is your day for a miracle. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, today is your day for a miracle. If you have a migraine headache, artery right is pain in your joints if you have diabetes if you have whatever sickness you have today my friends today if you have a mental sickness today is your day for healing that demon do demon possessed person have already been delivered in the name of Jesus yes my friends Jesus Christ took 39 stripes upon his back he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with the stripes, I'm healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name, let's give a big hand today. Yes, my friends. According to medical doctors, we have 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease that is plaguing mankind all across the world. And Jesus Christ took a sickness for that. Let me go a bit further. God who created man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils, and man became a living soul. Yes, my friends. Man became a living soul. Yes, my friends. God knows every bone, every marrow, every joint, every kidney, every organ, every tissue in your body and there is no big deal for him to give you a brand new heart a brand new lungs a brand new kidney and burn out that cancer from your body yes yes and heal you from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease i see many are healed this morning many are saved many are delivered and i know all the curses have been broken from your family tree yes for a second third and fourth generation the curses has ended with you today it has ended with me see it ends with me the curses are broken and it end with me it will not go on to the next generation in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name all those tormenting demons I, I rebuke them in Jesus name yes accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and be filled with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus I thank you today praise God for all the healings write me text me call me and let me know beloved and friends what God has done for you in Jesus name amen and amen God bless you richly I love you very much in the love of God in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen thank you Jesus God bless you richly. You're free this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give a big hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God bless you richly. Thank you, Lord, for this message. Remember.
remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all my messages. Just click the button, the subscribe button, and you can see when I'm preaching so you get the message directly. God bless you richly in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Praise God.